and hello everyone if you're in the market for a reporting tool that's free that's versatile that's strong that's relatively easy to use and also cross-platform chances are you've already heard of BERT BERT is short for business intelligence reporting tool and is made to work natively with a Java environment but then what's going to happen if your environment is not Java based but for example PHP as the website will tell you here it can be done and it will work I have made it work it's possible and it works really well with PHP but of course you have to go through a little bit of configurations the main website offers you two solutions to make BERT work with PH, a PHP environment the first one is to call what they call what they, they name the BERT viewer straight from PHP through the use of, the, of a URL as you can see right here. This approach is not exactly one I personally recommend. For one thing it's exceedingly restrictive because you can only give a certain number of parameters to your reports because the URL is capped at uh, I believe 255 characters. So if you're like me and your reports have a lot of parameters, chances are you're gonna bust that limit really easily. Also, if your reports have to be available through the internet, uh, local host co column 8080 is not exactly well rooted over the internet uh, if you have to set things up. So, what is the other solution? Well, the main other solution is to use what they call the PHP Java Bridge. So what is the PHP Java Bridge? Well, it's a library of functions that really makes it so that you can use Java, but in PHP. So for all the sense that it's going to make, you're basically coding a JSP in PHP, as much sense as that might make. So this is the main Java Bridge website, as you can see here, they're explaining how their, uh, how their framework works. And I'm not gonna go over that this is not the aim of this tutorial and uh, as you can see the main BERT website offers you an article on how exactly to use Java bridge in order to make your reports work <coughs> however as you can see right here this is what they're using for their testing purposes so a Apache web server PHP 5.2 2.8, Tomcat 5.5, uh, PHP Java Bridge 5.4.3.3, BERT Runtime 2.3.1, and a BERT Designer, whatever that might be. So let's uh, check it out. This was made by Jason's, Jason Weathersby in March of 2000, 2009. As of this recording, this uh, recording was made in January of 2011, so it's slightly dated. So that's why I'm going to show you how to set Java Bridge in P with uh, to work correctly with BERT, but with newer versions of the of all these tools. What are these newer versions? Let's check it out. My newer versions are going to be the latest BERT runtime library, which is 2.6.1, as opposed to the BERT runtime 2.3.1. Then I'm going to be using Java Bridge 6.2.1, which is the latest version, as opposed to the 5.4.3.3, my, my apologies. And I'm going to be using a MySQL connector because this is the database I use at work. And as for the report uh, reporting environment I'm going to use, it's Eclipse reporting tool, which is the SR1, which is the latest version. Of course, I'm also going to be using Tomcat because you're you'll be there's no real way around it. You have to use Tomcat, and I'm going to be using the latest version, which is 7.0.5. I've also tested it on uh, Tomcat 6, and it works exactly the same, so there's no real problem there. So, <clears throat> I've taken the liberty of installing Tomcat off-screen. Tomcat, basically I went with the, all the default settings. The Tomcat configuration isn't typically as important as the one of your main web server as illustrated on this uh, little 
on this little graph here, Tomcat is not going to be accessing the internet. Uh, Tomcat is merely going to answer the, the queries made by the main web server, for example, Apache, for example. So it, Apache will just transmit a query to Tomcat and Tomcat's going to answer to Apache. There's not, there's no going over the internet here. So basically what you want to do is set up your security more on this side of the fence, if I may say so myself. So that being said, the first thing you do, of course, is to install Tomcat. And as you can see, it's running right there. So I'm going to start it and see if my installation was successful. Also, for some weird reason, Tomcat won't start unless I start it twice. If anyone knows, you can place it in the comments, so whatever. But anyway, as you can see now, Tomcat is properly running. So what? how exactly can I confirm that? By typing a localhost, localhost, uh, colon, 8080, uh, whoops local host there we go and there we go apache tomcat has been properly set up okay so now tomcat is installed next what we want to do of course is install the java bridge on tomcat uh, it's not so much an installation as just copying a file basically so what we want to do here is get our J the latest uh, Java Bridge version, which in my case is 6.2.1. And a note on the download section, this is the main website. Just Google it if you don't know the, the URL, it's really easy to find. Type Java Bridge in Google and you'll end up on this website relatively easily. Now let's go to the download section. And let's be careful here. My first reflex was to download the binary here. But this is a skeletal deployment. There are only four files in there, and uh, this is not what you want. The, these are the files they're going to give you with this development, the deployment, sorry. And of course, it's not what you want. What you want is the documentation here. It, it will contain a WAR file that has all the necessary files you need, a lot more than just these files here. So. Uh, what you will really want is this file here. I've downloaded it off screen, of course, and uh, decompressed it in, a, in one folder, which is this one here. So this is here. When you decompress it, you get this here. You get the javabridge.war. A war file is mainly like a zip file, except it's a sort of Java-based compression. So what we want to do now is take this war file and place it in the web apps directory of tomcat web apps directory would be uh, the central directory like the htdocs of apache or the web directory of iis for example so let's check out where it is exactly i got it open right here let's just uh, for clarity purposes let's start this over this is my local hard drive in my case, it installed itself in this in this uh, folder, which is program Apache Software Foundation Tomcat 7.0, and there we go. We have the web apps directory right here. <coughs> Sorry, and this is where we want to place the main Java Bridge WAR file. So let's turn off Tomcat. It's not typically necessary, but whenever I do, it's a quirk I have. Whenever I uh, do something, I turn off the turn off the, the main uh, web server. So let's copy this file here. There we go. And let's start Tomcat once more. And there we go. As you can see, Tomcat decompressed the, the war file and created a new folder, which is the which has the same name as the war file. So as you can see, there's a lot more than four files in there. There's a lot of folders and stuff like that. So there we go. Now we want to see if Java Bridge has been correctly installed. So how do we do that? Well, we go to the localhost colon 8080 and type Java Bridge. And just add the Java Bridge at the end. 
be careful the URL in this case is, uh, is actually case sensitive so if you put a, a capital you have to put a capital B a capital J if you don't it's not gonna work and there we go this is the central testing of Java bridge uh, the Java bridge uh, module what's interesting here in our case is this one right here the report generator so we want to see if the report generator actually works of course since this is exactly what we're trying to install so let's check it out and there we go congratulations if you can see this report the bird viewer has been correctly installed okay so now let's confirm that the bird viewer has been correctly installed how are we going to do that well we're gonna do a little trick here so remember I had you download the uh, not this folder sorry I had you download uh, Eclipse for example or a reporting tool that's gonna make a BERT report in my case it would be Eclipse I, had the, I have the latest version available as of January 2011 so let's check it out I decompressed it and placed it in here so let's start Eclipse okay so I've done a bit of initial setup which would be to set up the main project folder which in my case would be this folder just choose whichever one you like and then let's go with OK and there we go okay so let's just close this down and close this down here okay so this is the main uh, window uh, the main Eclipse window when it comes to reporting tools but uh, for, you're not gonna get that on an initial uh, on a first startup of Eclipse first of all you're gonna get uh, a big image here and uh, you have to click uh, go to workbench which should be located somewhere around here and then you go to window you have to open the perspective and go to other right here and what we want here is the report design perspective and then click OK and this should give you what you see right uh, now before you next we want to create a new project <coughs> you create a report project click on next you name the project and click OK uh, finish I've already done that off screen and then next you want to create a new report and then the report has to be created of course within the project you name it whatever you want you click next and choose a blank report really important what we want is a blank report I've already done that off screen and it would be this folder uh, this uh, report right here RPT design are the main extension of BERT reports in this case I named it test.rpt design and there we go it's a completely blank report so I think we'll all agree that this is as basic a report as you can get no, data, no database uh, connectivity no functions no formatting no, not even a single control on the, on the report so I did that because I want to eliminate any possible cause of confusion okay so now let's check out something let's go back to the, the central uh, Java bridge page here let's just put our mouse on the link right here I'm not sure if you can see it but at the bottom left of the screen as you can see uh, the URL of the link is shown so in this case it's localhost colon 8080 slash java bridge slash report dot php which means that the file actually opened by this link is report dot php well check this little file out in uh, this one here okay so this is the web apps directory we go into java bridge and find report.php which in my case would be this file right here 